creating our contact page, adding the contact details. In this video, we will create the structure of our page and then we will discover what view encapsulation is. So let's go ahead and create our structure. So we can start by removing the default content and then we are going to create our structure. We are going to have our typical mat card and a divider and then we will use one third for our contact details and two third for our contact form. So let's create that. We're directly going to give a margin bottom to our row and then our columns. So the card will simply use it for our title here. So now let's fill in our contact details in our first column. We are going to use the address element. And here, a few paragraphs. and an email if you wish to display that directly. Title first, and then we can put a link for the email, a mail to link. Before we have a look at our contacts, I noticed in the styles.scss that when importing material, these two styles were automatically added by the material module. So we can just remove them. And now we can go ahead and go back to our contact details. We notice that each of our paragraphs has spaces. Let's have a look. So there's a margin bottom coming from Bootstrap on each paragraph. I would like to remove them. And in this case, we only want to do that for paragraphs in our contact page. This is a great case to show the use of SCSS that comes with the components. So let's add a style in it for every paragraph. Let's open our contact.component.scss. And here we're going to add a style for paragraphs. And we are just removing the margin bottom. We are also specifying that it applies to every paragraph. Let's have a look at the result. We can see in our contact page that the margin bottom has been removed. It's working as intended. But since we created a style that should apply to all paragraph elements, is this margin bottom removed in the home page, for example? So let's have a look. Here at this paragraph, we can see that the margin bottom still exists for this element. And all of this actually makes sense. CSS style sheet assigned to a component are scoped to that component, meaning the styles are only applied to that component, and in our case, the contact component. So how is this achieved? If we open the developer tools and have a look at our HTML elements here, we can see that they have an attribute generated. And if we check our style, we see that the styles created in the contact.component.scss are using the attribute CSS selector, which only applies the style to the elements with that attribute. So we can see how the scoping is done here. Let's change the contact component metadata to switch the encapsulation. So in our component, in our contact.component.ts, sorry. Here, I'm going to specify the encapsulation. And I'm going to set it, set it to view encapsulation.none. Let's see what this does. Now, we can see that the attribute on the HTML elements is gone, as well as on our style. And if we go to the home page, we can see now that the, our style is applying to this page too now, and the margin was removed. So we basically just disabled the scoping 
of our CSS. We can now revert it to go back to only the contact page. So let's revert this change. So we can see that by default, the style URL assigned to a component is scoped to that component only.